G'day folks, just down here at V8 Jagnut's place, uh, testing ignition coils. I've already tested all of these ones here and they come up good. It's a standard 12 volt ignition coil, some Bosch, some Lucas, some Hashin or something. They're electronic ignition coils, these are regular distributor coils, and this is an antique tractor coil, rather old one. And all I'm doing is setting up this little Bosch distributor and using the points to make and collapse the field in the coil. The condenser does its part too because you get a very weak spark without it. And all I do is hook up the negative trigger to the distributor and negative to battery and turn the spindle. And that coil is working nicely. A funny connection here, so a bit erratic, but it is working. I'm also using a ballast resistor. Uh, it sort of halves the voltage going to the coil so that they don't boil, particularly when the points are left shut. That's always wise. If it says use with resistor on the coil, use it with a resistor. I've also been given this coil to play around with at home. It's one of the more modern sealed, epoxy filled ones, not like the old oil filled. And because it's for a direct electronic ignition system, uh, it delivers a 60,000 volt spark of about uh, 6 centimetres, compared with these 30,000 volt coils, which at their best deliver about 3 centimetres. So, it should be a fun little project one day. They work the same though, you still have your positive to battery, negative going to your trigger on a, uh, well in this case it's an electronic system, but you can still manually trigger them with points and a condenser. There's another look at this coil. Not sure how old it is, he said it's tractor. It's obviously been painted. No markings on it anymore because it's all been painted over. That should go well. It's one of the few coils he's given me for my engine projects. I'm going to end up with a couple of these. So thanks for watching.